Here now is Ken Paxton, Paxton, the Texas Attorney General. Sir, what do you think about this? Are they going to be more successful at the DOJ? Well, first of all, it's a very sad day for the family. They've watched their daughter yes. killed and then watched somebody who had been deported five times, who should have been deported again, who somehow gets out of out of jail as a convicted felon and finds a gun that wasn't his and kills their daughter. And the end, the ending justice is, you know, a few few years of prison time, which he's probably already served. So it's a pretty sad day for the family. And I don't really know what the city of San Francisco tells this family, but it's, it is definitely a sad day for them. Yeah. So, I mean, now they're filing another arrest warrant, the Department of Justice, immediately. Um, do you think that they will be more successful given that, you know, that some of the faults in the original case, you know, they talk about overcharging him, that it would have been easier and more straightforward to convince the jury of manslaughter based on the physical mm -hmm. evidence. Um, also, if you talk about the venue and, you know, the city that we're talking about where this was, does it make a bigger difference if these are charges from the DOJ and we're talking a federal level? You know what? You never know because it just depends on, on how the prosecution's approach. I'm certain that, that, that one thing that should happen, whether they pursue a, another trial, is that he should be deported. And we need to do a better job of keeping these guys out of our out of our country, which is obviously something that the president is focused on and we appreciate in Texas. Yeah, I guess, I mean, when I, you know, when you say that he should be deported, it, it, it makes you, I mean, he's been deported so many times and he still came back and murdered yes. someone. So it just, it it's doesn't a, give you any comfort at all to think about deporting him. It, it feels like it would be much safer to keep him locked up here if there were a way to do that. Well, obviously, I, I think that if, if there are more charges that can be brought, they should be brought by the federal government, given the, the, the fact that they were not successful in, in the state of California. But the other part of this is exactly what you're talking about. We need to do a better job defending our borders and securing our borders, which I think this president has done a better job than any other president that I can think of in modern times. And as he focuses on the wall, more agents and potentially more, more technology, we, that's all things that we care about in Texas, given the fact that we have these same issues in Texas, yeah. and you and I are going to be talking about this issue again in the future if, if we don't resolve this. What have you seen in your area most recently? Because people talk about the fact that there were fewer um, illegal immigrants coming over the border yeah. in the wake of the president's election. Has that changed? Has that rebounded? Actually, it's been great. I mean, we've probably dropped 60 to 70 percent. I've talked to border agents. I've talked to Customs and Enforcement. I've talked to local police officers along the border. And what they tell me is that the cooperation is amazing with the federal government. They're actually getting to do their jobs, which over the last year, eight years, they were told they, they, they really couldn't do. And so it's, it's made a huge difference. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.